Well, ladies and gentlemen, THC is photobombing the shoot. Um, I just want his little scritches. So I give him his little scritches and then hopefully he'll wander off. I'm actually trying to do a tutorial on, uh, there he goes. Okay, here we, here we have a decent Lona tool. Let me turn the light on, you can see more. Yeah, that should be a little better. But that's a Lona tool program uh, that Pep Boys offers. Uh, this is a, about as equivalent to the one I used down at uh, Alabama when I had some trouble with the turn signal. And I thought I could fix it, so I had to remove the, uh, the steering wheel, and they had a kit. And this is a pretty complete kit. As you can see, it's got... Um, the puller itself, and then it's got the latch plate remover. Uh, it's got hooks for some some of them. You've got uh, the the center push piece with the the collar that goes on the shaft of the steering wheel, and then you got a pretty good assortment. There's two, four, six, eight, ten. Pretty good assortment of bolts for different steering wheels. And remember, if it's an airbag system. Be careful about the ear bag uh, because it's an explosive and it can kill you. Uh, this, thankfully, it's an 81, it's a C10, it's GM, pretty much all the same. And you've got the um, the pull up for the, uh, the washer and the nut, and, and that forces the lock plate down so you can get the lock ring out. Uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about how to pull a switch to get to it, or whatever, but uh, very few about. Uh, the proper tools, um, and of course it's got these two um, units here, which have threading on the inside uh, to go down over the same uh, nut, uh, over the same shaft that the nut comes off. So uh, you got to make sure you don't tear those threads up because you've got to be able to use uh, this portion of the kit to uh, take the lock plate off. Uh, now. Let me show you the difference between this kit uh, and the one I got from AutoZone. Now, the AutoZone kit didn't come with that, didn't come with that, uh, didn't come with that, didn't come with that, or that. Uh, came with those two. Uh, it, it came with bolts, okay? But it didn't come with this, didn't come with that. So, let me show you the difference between a complete kit on a loaner tool. Okay, that's the one you want to make sure you get. If you open up the box and it looks like that, it'll be a smaller box. It's $20 uh, to loan a tool out of AutoZone. This kit, with all the extra bits and pieces, comes with a lifetime warranty as well. And of course, you know, we've got to put it back in the way it's designed to go in. And it just sits in there. So you get two of those, it's a 916 and then there's a metric one. So this is the complete kit. This is the one to get uh, to do a GM column and probably a bunch of the other ones. Uh, don't waste your time with the ones that don't come with the lock plate remover because uh, that thing is held down, that spring pressure holds that collar down pretty heavy and uh, it's just too much work, okay? You've got to have the right part to do it and I think OEM uh, sells the half kit to pull the, the steering wheel and then you end up going back to buy the other half um, for the lock plate remover. So if you, if you do this thing, it's $60 in and out, you get your money back when you go back to Pep Boys. Uh, Pep Boys gets the big thumbs up on this one uh, and uh, I've been buying a lot of stuff from them and, and uh, they, they always treat me right. So uh, this is a, this is 
not paid this is just a recommendation for the mechanics out there thanks for watching